Yo, what is going on guys, my name is Temor and in this video I'm gonna be showing you guys the best extensions for Chrome that you should use as a YouTuber. I have a few extensions here that I found on the internet and I want to share these with you guys since they really helped me out and should help you guys out too. Now I have a link down in the description below to all of these extensions so you can just go ahead and click on those to download them and I'm just gonna go, you know, and review them in order to let you guys decide whether you want to use them or not. The first one on this list is called vidIQ. Uh, which you can download as I said uh, by clicking on the first link in the description below. Once you have downloaded it you'll see this icon up here and if you click on it you'll see a few different tools. So what you actually have to do with this tool is that you have to sign in with Google to make it work. Go ahead and click on sign in with Google and then select your account uh, that you use for your YouTube channel and then once you've signed in it should work straight away. Now if we search for anything, let's just search for Minecraft uh, for a demonstration, you will see that it shows a lot a lot of information here about the keywords so if you wait a bit you'll see that it loads in and it shows you the highest views like the video with the highest views and the average views per video and the average subscribers which is a lot so it's a very hard keyword to compete in average age three years this means that the average video showed when searching for minecraft is staying for three years on the front page of minecraft keyword now the top creator here is preston place which is the guy with the most views uh, that is ranking on this keyword now if you can see here overall score is high which means that if you want to rank for this keyword you'll really have to be really smart since it's really hard to rank on minecraft since its score is high and as you can see here all of the videos they have a lot of views and it's really really hard to rank above them and it's shown down here by the competition saying hi this gives you a lot of different information about the keyword and if you scroll down you will see the top channels for this keyword and it's present place mambo jumbo and jelly good luck competing with these three guys if we scroll down we can see the related queries as well so people that search for minecraft they usually search for how to minecraft to minecraft mod and minecraft pe you can uh, click through these to find other keywords that might be easier to rank on now if you go to a random channel from this page you'll see that we can actually see a lot of different information about the channel so if we click on trending we can see the videos that this guy has that is trending and it shows you different metrics down here i don't really know what this means but um, it shows you the videos that are trending but the best thing is if you click on stats then you'll see the stats for this specific channel without going to any additional websites as you can see here you can see the subscriber rank uh, in the world he's the number 13,000. that's pretty good and we can see his view rank and the category is gaming and his his channel is from united kingdom and this is his instagram followers so this extension actually can see that he has a instagram link so it you know it grabs the subscriber followers instantly from there so it's really handy you don't really have to click on through this link since this extension it handles everything for you so you can see the total views the total subs and the videos published you only get seven videos that's quite weird but the best thing that I use this extension for is that you can see your own statistics up here so this is a channel that I don't really have any videos on you can see the hours watched in the last 12 months you can see the views last 60 minutes and the views last 48 hours and seven days and you know this is basically everything you can see in the YouTube analytics or creator studio but it's on the front page so you can just hover over this and then you can see it instantly without having to go into the creator studio uh, so that saves you a lot of time as well now if you actually click on a video you'll see a lot of different information about the specific video so as you can see here you can see the vidIQ score which is basically the SEO thing of the entire video uh, how well you rank and how well uh, your video performs you can see the total views the duration and down here it's a social so this is really effective since you can see the like ratio this is a really good like ratio and the amount of likes and YouTube dislikes and YouTube comments. The really good thing here is the like ratio since you can't really, you can't calculate itself but you know it saves you time by just showing up here and as you can see here it says the Instagram followers as well and it got one Reddit post so it searched up this video on Reddit and found one post and then here is the score as I said and you can see the description word amount. You can see the video optimization checklist. Uh, so as you can see here the title is checked, the tags is checked, description is checked but what is not checked is the card so this guy doesn't use any end cards uh, and he doesn't use he doesn't share this on Facebook as well so I can't really go through everything but as you can see there is a lot of different information that you can gain about uh, channels and videos uh, so there is a lot a lot of information that I will not cover so let's just go on to the next extension so the next extension is tags for YouTube which is basically what the title is uh, it shows you the uh, tags that every video uses and vidIQ also does that but the thing with vidIQ is that it actually slows 
down your uh, browser just a tad little bit so if you don't really have a fast pc and you just want the tags then this uh, extension is perfect for you so if we just go into a random video i can demonstrate exactly how it works so if we scroll down and click on show more and scroll down a bit more then we can see the tags that this guy used so without this extension we can't really see the tags so if you have a competitor and you want to know what tags you use to rank that good then you can just use this extension and go down and you can find all of these tags and you can just copy them if you want to so it's a very simplistic extension that's really all it does uh, but it's actually very helpful if you want to know the tags the next extension on this list is social blade which is very similar to vidiq as well but it's quite more it's it's a bit more simple since it's more about the uh, analytics of individual channels on youtube so let me demonstrate this uh, let's go to pippin fts and if we go to his about page then we will be able to see something called social blade stats so this is basically taken straight from the social blade website but you don't actually have to go to the website in a different tab so i went to a different channel to show you guys the analytics and as you can see here we can see everything that we can see in social blade but it's right uh, in the same page or tab so you can see the grade the subscriber rank it's basically the same as vidiq but it's a lot more lightweight and here we can also see the subscribers that this guy gets every day so as you can see he averages around 10k a day which is really good and you can see his views here per day as well and his estimated earnings and social blade uh, extension also allows you to go into individual videos and you can see these stats for the videos as well as you can see up here on the side uh, then you can see you know the analytics for the channel right from the video itself so you don't really have to go onto the channel so as you can see here you can see the tags as well and that's why i really love this extension so this is really simple and it gives you a lot of information just from the videos itself now the next extension is called smart pause which is also a very simple extension and all it does is that it stops the video or pauses the video once you leave the tab uh, it's actually quite annoying that youtube doesn't do this by default uh, if you play a video and then leave the tab it's still gonna be playing in the background and that's that's only good if it's music but if it's a video and you just want to check another tab quickly then the tab that the video is on will still go ahead and play so what this extension does is that it stops this from auto playing when you leave it so as you can see here i actually have it enabled and if i put this video on and let's see you see it's actually in the third second if i choose this tab now and let's wait around five seconds uh, and then if we go back it's still on the same uh, second here so it stops or it pauses the video when you leave the tab so you don't really miss out on anything so it's a very helpful extension that i really recommend you guys getting now the next extension is called gif it which uh, makes gifs of the video that you watches so you can just uh, quickly make gifs uh, of videos if you want to share it somewhere so let's demonstrate this by going into a random video again and if we scroll down you will see something called gif it here uh, and if you click on this button here you can select a few things start uh, that's basically where you want your gif to start and the end is you know where you want your gif to end so if we put this to three seconds then this gif will be three seconds long and you shouldn't really mess with the width and height but you can if you want to the frame rate uh, is 10 by default but you can actually make the 60 fps if you want to but it will take a little more time to render it so what i'm gonna do is that I'm gonna put 30 seconds and then I'm gonna click on GIF it. So as you can see here, it goes through uh, the different timestamps that you selected and it's gathering the frames. And as I said, if you have more frames per second, then it's going to take a longer time. Let's just wait for this to finish up here and I'll show you guys how to download it. So now it's done and you can see the GIF right here. And if you click on save GIF, it will download to your computer instantly. And you can just go ahead and click on it to view it on your computer. Now this is really helpful if you, if you have a community tab since if you just want to show a quick little snippet of your video then you can go ahead and, and give it and then post it on your community tab uh, that may actually help you get more views since people get excited. Now the last extension on this list is called TubeBuddy and this is basically something like vidiq it's actually very similar to vidiq it's all personal preference which one of the two you want to use i'm going to show you guys this uh, plugin as well so as you can see here it says you have to sign in which you actually have to do so if you click on this button here and click on sign in with youtube then you have to sign in with your youtube channel so i'm just going to go ahead and select my youtube channel 
and then it will start working instantly. So as you can see here, we see the TubeBuddy icon up here. And if we search for a random keyword, let's say Minecraft, it's the same we used for VidIQ. Then as you can see down to this side, it's very similar to VidIQ. It shows you the different keywords and the most used tags for these videos. Um, but this VidIQ and this extension, they have a pro version as well, which you can pay for if you want to use. I don't really do that, but if you have the money and you want to have the pro versions of these two extensions, then you can just go ahead and pay for it. So if we go to an individual video, let's go to the same video we did before. Then on the side here, uh, it looks very similar to vidIQ. So you can see the total views, the comments, the likes, and uh, the mentions. It, you know, it goes on to different social medias and checks for the video there. So it's found two mentions on Twitter, which it shows up here and then shows you a bit of information about the channel so it has 176 total 176 million total views and 1.24 million subscribers and 232 videos so best practices you can see here there are different uh, things that you want to accomplish he didn't accomplish in uh, adding info cards and he didn't really like it on facebook so everything else he did add like the end screen uh, so you did a good job on that. If we scroll down a little bit more, you'll see all of the different tags that he used in the video. And there is actually a button down here called copy to, which you can just go ahead and copy to your clipboard if you want to use this in your own video. Now this extension also shows you the channel stats uh, if you go to the channel in, in itself. So as you can see here, we see the views, the, uh, the videos and everything. And we have a nice little graph here that shows the views gained every day. And uh, we can select these to the subscribers last three days as well. Now we can see subscribers every day uh, in a graph here so that's basically the last extension for this video and if you guys found this video helpful then please leave a like down below and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video